Salutations, Internet, and welcome back to Dwombat Gaming. I'm Dwombat, and we are still playing Warcraft 3 The Frozen Throne bonus campaign. In the last episode, I was very sleep deprived, and we killed a lot of stuff, and then we killed an ogre, and that's a celestial orb of souls. I should probably pick that up. Wait. Vol'jin, did you drop that for me? Is this a six unit by dead units back to life? I don't need that. Let's sell it. Because I don't have any units. Is this a sellable thingy? Totally is. Alright. Uh, I took a nap in the past four hours, so that means I'm ready to record without being super tired. And we'll see how well that goes for me. Let's go find Thrall over here, because he has a mission for us to do. And let's kill some centaur, because that's also a thing I like to do. Let's stomp. Now let's do that. And let's do that. Why not? All right. There's actually a lot of this area that we have left to explore that I never really looked at. So before we leave, we're going to explore everywhere. But let's talk to Thrall. Thrall, buddy, what's going on? Thrall, talk to me, man. Once again, you have done the Horde a great service, Rexar. I am in your debt. If you're willing, there's one last thing I need before the hammer falls. We've crafted a new standard for Duratar, a mighty banner bearing the symbol of the Horde. I want to place a shamanistic blessing on it, but I require a few items to complete my spell. Would you gather them for me? Heck yeah! Of course, Thrall. I'd be proud to. So proud! Alright, so that is our last real mission that we gotta do. We have to get Stormlord Eye, and Bronze Dragon Scale, and Wildkin Claw. So let's do that. Let's go... let's just fight our way up here. I think that's where the Stormlord Eye is located, so let's do it. Let's go, guys. My adventuring party, Rexa, Rokan, Chen, and Cairn, having a huge party out in the wilderness, breaking barrels, breaking barrels like nothing ever before. I'm a menace to all the barrels. Sea giants. All oh, right, because the storm lord is a sea giant. I knew that. Kill these guys. Yep, there he is, storm lord. Cairn, come on, get up there. Come on, make him drunk. Keep fire on him. Heal up everybody. Kill. And Storm Lord Eye. Oh, cool. It looks like a sentry ward. The dislodged eye of a Storm Lord. Grab it. Perfect. Now we have more to explore over in this direction, so that is what we shall do. Is there anything. Is there anything over here? It's just. Yeah, there's nothing over here. Alright. There. Uh, oh, it's over here. How do I get over there? Oh, wait, is it up here? I don't remember. I don't want to fight these things. Uh, there's a thing in the middle of this lake that I'm going to fight. How do I... Right there. That's how we get there. Come on! You can see slightly that there's actually a path beyond these trees out into the lake. And there's some lightning revenants over in this direction. And they deal a lot of damage. Quite a bit of damage. And they deal extra damage to poor Misha. Oh, Summon a new Misha and a Gwilborn. Alright, and then we will fight this way. More Lightning Revenants. And the Eldritch Death Lord. Come here, Lightning Revenants. We'll kill these ones before the Death Lord gets over here. Crap! Alright, so this Death Lord does so much damage that we have to keep him, like, constantly drunk. And stunned and stuff. Because if you don't, he will kill you. So you just have to be ready to stomp. Stop healing yourself. And 
another stomp. Yeah, as long as you keep him stun locked, you should be fine. Stun. But you see, he does 301 to 308 chaos damage every hit. He also happens to have uh, over, or I believe he 100, 120 armor. That's a lot. Make him drunk. But since we have so many stuns available and we have so much mana with these stuns, there's no real danger. No real danger, as long as we're smart. Make him drunk so he hits less often. There we go. Stun some more. Stun him again. Heal. And it's almost dead. Almost dead. Almost dead. There we go, we got him! So we get the shield of the Death Lord. So not only do we have the crown of the Death Lord, Dre Death Lord, we have the shield of the Death Lord. Engulfs the hero in fire, which deals 10 damage per second to nearby enemy land units. Also increases the hero's armor by 10, hit points by 150, and mana by 100 when worn. When Arthas took up the sword against his own people in Stratholm, the Death Lords committed the same heinous act in many cities across Lordaeron. That doesn't sound right to me. I feel like that would not have happened, but whatever. Let's see. Let's give... Uh... Drek'thar's Spellbook... No, I like that right there. No, we'll give Drek'thar's Spellbook to Rokon. And we will give the Shield of Honor to Cairn, so that Cairn can have more armor, because Rek'Sar has plenty of armor. Now, everybody has lots of armor, and we just killed... Like, the toughest thing in this part of the game, so that's fancy. Let's go get that Wildkin Claw, which I believe is right here. We'll see on the minimap if it pings itself in a few moments. Yep, right here. I was right. What is this? I want to know. Let's go here. We'll see if this is something. It appears that there are buildings. Oh, it's just some centaur. Alright, just some centaur. Make him drunk and breathe fire. Do a little stun every now and again. Heal up. Play a ward. Everything's peach keen. That guy's gonna resurrect himself. Grab the cold coins. And murder him again. Make him drunk. Stun. And stun him again. Rexar's so close to leveling up. Cairn is not. I want to be level 12 before we leave this area, so... Let's make that happen, game. Oh, so many barrels. There's so many barrels to destroy. Must break all of them. This is an interesting, like, centaur fort with the ruins of what look like human towers. Oh, you guys broke everything? Rune of healing. Grab it. And rune of greater man. And another rune of healing. Sweet. Alright, let's kill the wildkin. <laughs> Up there. And there's not a ton left to explore in the area, really. Not a lot more to do. We just sort of have the top to look at. I don't think there's any way to get We're to that attack. area of the map. Oh, right, Wildkin. The Brutal Wildkin's slightly dangerous. Stomp. There we go. Who leveled up? Rexar leveled up. We can have better stampeding this. Not that I care. So level 12 is the cap of this chapter. I don't want to really fight these guys, but if you're going to insist, if you're going to be in my way, I'll fight you. Oh, we killed him fast enough. But just think, like, these mobs are pretty large mobs. We don't see anything under level 5 ever. I mean, we just fought three level 7s all at once. And normally, oh, I don't know why I went up that way. We go up this way. Normally, if you were, say, playing a, a skirmish match, you know, a custom game or not, those, all of these enemies would be a lot easier to kill because you would not have three heroes, all of which are over level 10. Because you cannot get above level 10 in a skirmish match. Level 10 is the can- okay, not that way. 
I don't care. I just don't want to go inside the freaking thing. All right. Screw you, things. Stop it. Stop. There we go. Stupid. Stupid fell ravagers. Let's let's just attack move up here and we'll figure out the way. You guys can figure it out, right, Rexar? Well, That's the noise he makes when he hits something. Wait, let's go this way. What's this way? What is this? There's some some walls and some kobolds. A bunch of kobold taskmasters and an overseer. That sounds like fun. We kill them rather quickly. They give us gold that we don't need. Look how much gold we have. That's kind of exorbitant. Is that the right word? It, eh. Eh. I don't think I slept enough to know how to pronounce that word. Or any word. Grab gold. So much gold. These kobolds were hoarding it. Grab the gold, grab the gold, grab the gold. There's some more gold over here. And there's caves that I don't think I can go inside of. Nope. Alright. So we did that. Head up towards that dragon. I wanna kill the dragon. I wanna I want I wanna kill the dragon. I wish to slay the dragon. Dragon Slayer. Which really isn't when you think about how many dragons you killed in this game, like, everybody is a dragon slayer. Heck, these guys have already killed a dragon, and I'm fairly certain Karen has killed a dragon before. Dragons just... I mean, they're not as epic as they used to be. Now, if this were Dungeons and Dragons, killing a dragon would be no small feat. An adult dragon, anyway. In one of my D&D games, I play a half-orc monk with some bracers that increase his strength by two, and he is as strong as a, like, young adult white dragon. So I snapped one's neck in a game once. Yeah. Bronze dragon scale. A scale from a bronze dragon. Pick it up. Crap, I didn't pick up the stupid wildkin's claw. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, we will do that in the next episode because we're still going to keep exploring. So that's the end of this episode. It's gone on long enough. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Click that like button if you did like it. Subscribe for more videos. I update as often as I can. <gasps> and I will see you guys next time.